Hey girls, good morning. Um, great to see you out here this morning. Today I just want to do a quick chat about what we are consuming our time with and what we're consuming our energy with. Because um, we find oftentimes we're caught up in things that are not a priority, that are not important, that are lies from the enemy. And so today I just want to talk a little bit real quick. I'm going to try to cut today short. Um, just to give you some time to really think about it. But what are you consuming your time with? And what is consuming your time? That's a big word because we're like, we look at that and we think of the word consuming. And that means kind of taking over, taking charge of, taking the lead in. You know, what is it that has got our attention so drawn in that we may be unbalanced in other areas. So that's why we talk about in Healthy Mindset Cafe about maintaining that balance between your mindset, your body, and your spirit. So we're talking about our mindset. So that's the things we think about and a lot of times the, our attitude and that aspect. Our body is our overall health. It's not how skinny and how perfect you are. It's how does your body feel? How do you feel physically? Okay, And then your spirit is your relationship with Christ, because that's the God's spirit in us. And how are we balancing these three components in our life? Now, if we're consuming, if there's something in our life that's a distraction, that's consuming us, then we can be taken away from that balance. We can take, be taken away from the priorities. We can be taken away from what God has called us to do. So my question is, what is consuming your time? And sometimes we can say, oh, family, oh, children, the job, and we can list all of this stuff. But we really have to stop and breathe for a moment and think about, are we balancing everything? So for an example, in your job, are you saying yes to everything? You, and I'm talking more like if you own a business, because I know in corporate, you kind of have to do what they tell you. But are you pretty much doing everything? You know, maybe you need to step back from some of it, delegate some of it. Or if you're doing stuff for other people, maybe not take as many people on. If we're talking about family and you've got kids, do your kids have to participate in every single thing out there? And see, what I've found is in most of the people with children is they tend to overcommit with their children involved in every activity they could possibly do because as a kid, they didn't do that. But that's not always the best answer. You know, something I learned growing up is that there was a reason for the no's from my parents. I may not like them, but there was a reason for it. And as I got older, I understood the concept that every time I want something doesn't mean I'm going to get it. So what are we teaching the children? By allowing them to consume every bit of our time, by saying yes to every sporting event, every activity, all of it, what we're telling them is that there is no no in our life. And then they grow up and become adults that don't accept that sometimes you don't get what you want, that sometimes you lose. So when we look at if that is consuming us, and I know that's a tough, touch, touchy situation, topic with some because they would do anything for their kids and how dare you say not do it. But realistically look at it. You know, what message are we teaching our children? But when we look at consuming our time, all of us get the same amount of time every day, 24 hours, right? We all get seven days a week. We all get the same amount of days in a month and 365 days in the year. All of us. I don't get a day more than you do. You know, I mean, obviously if we pass on the yes, I got a day longer. But we're talking as, you know, we're sitting here today. You and I both have 24 hours in this day. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to sleep eight of them. You know, then there's, okay, work side. Then there's time with God. There's time with the family. So you've got to balance all that out. 
But what we find as women is we're consumed with so many things that we cannot keep our life in balance. What is consuming you today? A quote by Elisa Tykers that I read today as I was doing a study, it says, what we consume will consume us. It is our choice whether we are consuming God's life or the enemy's lies. What are you consuming today? That's a great question to be challenged with. And that's part of the reason we started later today, because I read that and I thought, that's a really good question for me to think about. What am I consuming my time, my life with on a day-to-day -day basis? Is it of the things of God or is it lies that the enemy's told me? What are you consuming your day with? And I know that's a challenging question. And some may get defensive on this and say, well, that's none of your business. I'm consuming with what it needs to be done. But if we step back and really look at it, are we truly consuming ourselves with God and God's life for us? Or are we so caught up in the distractions of life, of the enemy, that we're not consumed with what God wants us to be consumed with? That's a tough question to ask. But I challenge you today to take that time and really ask yourself, what consumes your days? Now, if we want to follow example, because we always want to look at examples from the Bible. What did Jesus consume himself with all day, every day? He was about prayer. He was about teaching. He was about touching the people. He was about training up leaders, his disciples. So if that's our example, yeah, we've got a long way to go. We're not going to be that perfect example, but it gives you an idea of where the priorities are in our life. If your priorities are not circled and centered around God and his purpose in your life, you are missing out on abundant blessings. It's not saying that you're wrong. But what are you missing out on? That's what excited me. When I read that quote and went through this study and I went, it's my choice if I consume God's life or the enemy's lies. My choice. I have to get honest with myself and look at what is consuming my time and my life. Because see girls, I don't want to miss out on the blessings that God has for us. Do you? See, we're missing them because we're so consumed with keeping up with the Joneses. We're so consumed with our children being involved in everything and not wanting to tell them no to anything. We are so consumed with the craziness in our world that we are missing out on what God has for us. We are missing out on the abundant blessings that come from consuming ourselves with the life of Christ. That's huge. Because I want to be in that place of continual blessing from God our Father. I don't want to miss any of that. And I wonder now, how much have I missed because I was consumed with some of the wrong things. I can't go back in history, but I can change what I do from day one to day forward. What's consuming you? What is sucking up your time, your energy, everything about you, your gifting? Time for an evaluation bringing it all back into balance so that we can let God consume us and live in the showers of his abundant blessing. That's so much better than anything the world can offer us. I can't wait to see what God does now that my eyes have been opened and I went, aha, this morning. 
I pray that today you will also determine what are you consuming your, consuming your day with, your life with. And make those changes. Make those choices. Those aren't easy sometimes. But start to make those changes so that you can be totally consumed with God and His abundant blessings for you. So, time for you to go and ask God, what am I being consumed with that is not of you? And let's do a little house cleaning today. Let's sweep out the cobwebs, get rid of the dust, the dog hair, the dander, whatever it may be, the mud, after the rains here, we've got the mud everywhere in the house. But, you know, that's just, I'm using that as an example. But search inside and ask God, what am I consuming my life with? What do I need to change to consume my life with more of you? It's a hard question to ask, girls, because he may tell you something you don't want to hear. But he's going to tell you something that's going to change your life forever. So I leave you with that. What are you consuming your life with? Ask God to show you those areas you need to change today. And I'll be praying for you. Have a blessed day, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.